All right, so The Predator is coming out next month. I am a massive Predator fan, so I wanted to check out what the Fugitive Predator looked like in figure form. This is coming from NECA Toys. This is the ultimate edition of the Fugitive Predator. The box itself for you collectors out there is extremely collector friendly. The plastic itself, no breakable bands. You just have a twist tie. Uh, so like I said, extremely collector friendly. You have this plug that keeps the alternate head in place and you got these plastic plugs that keep the wrist blades and the alternate hands. So there's no tape whatsoever keeping things in place because that gets a bit messy. And uh, just the package, just extremely collector friendly. That's one thing I noticed right away. But anyway, let's check out the Predator. Now, before I yank them off of this little homemade base here, that's just styrofoam with um, stone um, spray paint. And that's all it is. Stone texture. I'm sorry. That's the word I was looking for. But before I take them off of this, this is from an AVP NECA Predator. And I believe they're using the same weapons in this movie because it was in the trailer plus right there on his hip. That is a unused blade right there and when he opens it that's what it looks like so you can actually display them with any extra pieces you have from your avp collection popping them off the stand uh, this is pretty much him oh that little spray thing smells good but geez i gotta learn to shut it off for these videos but this is pretty much the predator the fugitive predator without all of his armor on he has alternate hands which there's a lot more possibilities uh, than I originally thought because you can actually switch out the hands themselves uh, the in the box these um, the flesh arms alternate arm pieces they have ones with the arm gauntlet on it as well but the flesh ones come with the extended hand and then the gauntlet arms come with the ball fisted hand and you can actually take them off at the joint relatively easy and switch them. So like, a, for example, I put the ball fisted hand with the bare skinned arm and vice versa uh, with this side. And then I did the same with uh, these just to show you guys how you can have his gauntlet arms with the blades coming out. Pain in the butt to get the blades in, to be honest. But now there's two things when picking this apart design wise. NECA did an, an amazing job with this Predator. However, the design, some of it I don't like, just based on the movie. I think the big thing that stands out for me is his uh, shoulder blaster here, the plasma cannon. That is the biggest thing. This just looks pitiful. I don't know what it is. On the shoulder there, I don't know, man. I love the original des design so much. One of my all-time favorites. I always say this. The Predator is just so cool looking. And if you look on, this is a NECA, but this is like the original movie Predator, right? Look how cool that, maybe it's just me, but look how badass and cool that back piece is and it connects to the uh, plasma cannon. Man, you know, and it it generates that energy and it, it shoots, it's like bloom. so... In your little mind, you can you can justify it. It looks neat. It looks like it works in that universe, and it's it's fun, you know. But this, I mean, I get it. The technology, I don't know, man. It's just this little cannon. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't like it either. It's just this little stick on a shoulder. Maybe it'll be badass in the movie. But that's just one thing I wanted to point out. Let me show you this before. I know I'm gonna get questions, but. Like I said, I was uh, just playing around one summer and I put this stone texture. Me and my daughter were doing a project, a Last of Us project, and I threw this on styrofoam and I said, dude, that would look cool with the predators we got in the office. So I made this one as an example. You got his little mask there. You got some uh, grass there and some other moss stuff there and skulls. And it's just a little base for him and I absolutely love it. I have some more back there with the other predators. Uh, just as an example, I, I kind of stopped after I realized that that's something that would make the office look nice. When we get a house and I really set up the, the main office, I will most likely do my own DIY projects and make it look badass. But let me shut up and get over here before you guys start really shitting on me. Anyhow, so like I said, the Predator is absolutely fantastic. 
uh, again, minus the designs you don't like. The only other thing, I don't know if it's movie related or if it's a NECA thing, but his face, I don't like it as much as the older versions. And if you look at his face clearly, his teeth and all that, they just kind of get lost in the paintwork. Nothing really stands out. And I think that's one of the more disappointing aspects. His dreads are friggin' awesome. But that face, just to give you an example, here is the face from the original Predator, right? And you can see his, his gums and his teeth are different colors, all grimy and just, it pops, you know? Compared to this Predator we're looking at today, it just gets lost in the paintwork. So, and another thing, this arm is the only one I had problems with. When, I, when you put these on, they are rough. They're really rough to put on. And this arm was the only one I had problems with, the gauntlet. When I put the gauntlet arm in, for some reason now, it kind of is so loose. If you don't have them in a position, it, it just kind of wants to come off. Like, it doesn't want to stay on. So, but anyway, here he is, his face. His armor looks like it has some damage. I didn't notice in the movie, in the promo pictures and stuff. But it looks like there's definitely some damage done to his armor. It kind of looks like medieval shit going on there, you know? And uh, I, I think this rubber is tucked in under it where his body swivels. <clears throat> I don't want to mess with it to yank it out of there, but I'm almost positive you can, like, pull that rubber out. Uh, I'm not sure why you would, but I'm just saying. It doesn't really hinder his movement or anything. There's his weapons and his bare legs. In a minute, we're going to throw on his armor completely and his alternate head so you guys can see. Uh, great work as far as the, the creature design and what NECA did with the feet. And you got little bones poking out on the back and the side. Uh, really cool work here. And I'm not really sure how I feel about this outfit. I think we need to see the movie and the, the monster at, at work in the movie. But parts of it I like, parts of it I'm not sure. I think some of it's too busy. I like the simple stuff, especially when it comes to the mask. So let's slap his armor on and I'll show you. Actually, let's look at the dreads real quick. His back there looks cool. I think that would look all, better if it was kind of like a golden spine. It kind of looks like that's what they were going for. But if it was done a little more, because that's what I loved about the Predator with the trophies and how more primitive, the primitive stuff blended with the, you know, the technology. It was just freaking awesome. And he is good all the way around as far as paint work. He's got the little chainmail armor stuff going on and then this flap. Nothing looks like you can see where it wasn't painted. Uh, so it looks pretty good. What is that cannon doing? And then the dreads, like I said, the dreads look great. It feels like it's even a different type of material. It's not as uh, it's not as stiff as the other NECA Predators that I've seen. This is really soft, and it actually doesn't even puff out as much. Some of the other original NECAs, it kind of domes out a little bit. It gets a little puffy, and this lays uh, pretty flat you know and i think again that is a design within the character in the movie itself it's not like NECA decided well let's just change them or at least i don't think they they did because in the original movies you can even see on this guy his uh well his shoulder cannon's going to be in the way i'll show you on this guy see how it kind of puffs out a little more compared to this predator that really this predator that kind of drops down. Just a little thing I noticed. And you can see the texture in there. I think that's something they also changed for the predators in this movie. The other ones were like flat tubing. Here's the stuff we're gonna put on the predator. His helmet, his thigh armor, and then the hands. And like I said, you can have uh, this with double fists, you can have this with the open hand, or you can have the forearms without any uh, wrist gauntlets on it with the fists and then with the double open hands, or you can mix and match uh, like I did here with one open and one fist. So you can get a good variety to it. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to lie. That was a bit of a pain in the ass. The uh, peg wanted to stick in that head. I had to get pliers to yank it out. But anyway, this is what it'll look like. You take the head off, you take the arms off just uh, below the elbow there, 
and you're going to be putting these on in place of the alternate bare skin uh, alternative hands forearms and these are labeled on the inside it says L for left and obviously R for right so you know which leg to put them on and like I said before the uh, peg got stuck in the head and it was so tight plus these arms here have been real tight for switching them in and out so if you're a younger collector or maybe you're even a kid trying to play with these good luck <laughs> just be careful and if you are a kid man get a parent because you don't want to snap this son of a bitch and then you'll have nothing to play with <laughs> all right i thought maybe i'd show you guys this real quick uh like i said it's marked left and right you just take the uh bigger end and try not to get it stuck on his little horns on his feet and you pretty much just slide it up his leg and like i said there's no glue it's just this rubber strap and to be honest at first when i noticed this i thought because the reason i noticed it this was this one was at the bottom of the box uh, but to be honest when you slide it up on his leg and get it into position it stays on there pretty damn good don't force it it'll probably stay nice and tug so that's it, just slide it right on and there you go. And what I mentioned before about his arm being loose, it's this one here. It just, and I wanna do this uh, with one hand just to show you, you barely need any pressure. See how it's just, uh, it gets caught on the very end. I think that's the way the pin has a little uh, tip on it. And it just, that's the only thing from keeping it from just popping off, but it's all types of loose there. All types loose, which like I said, I don't mind because it's going to sit behind me on the shelf uh, while I'm doing my videos and stuff. So no big deal for me. <laughs> but uh, for you guys out there, just be careful when you get yours. Yeah, see how that sucker's just all types of... There you go. You can see it even better. It just pops off and on. And if you love articulation, if you're the type of collector that loves the articulation to put him in different poses. I almost dropped him, but he's got a double hinge on the elbow, another double hinge on that elbow there, and you can see that pin giving me a problem, but uh, I probably shouldn't have pu pushed his arm up all the way. Anyhow, there's how he looks with his mask on. He looks pretty cool. And then I think he's got a crunch here in his abdomen, but it's real stiff. And he rotates around the waist. I mean, he's got neck articulation. The articulation is fantastic. He actually feels a little, he, it's, I don't know. The articulation feels like a NECA predator, but there's just something about maybe the design that feels a little more articulated, if that makes sense. Uh, and I'm not talking about just loose joints. I'm talking he feels a little more slim and agile, as if that's what they were going for. So that might have been taken into consideration when they were putting this together as far as his armor not being big bulky and as far as these plates not being glued. Because for some reason I'm thinking maybe some of the older ones got caught on some of the armor, you know, when you try to, to move them around some. But yeah, as far as the mask, I still love the original Predator mask the best. That is, these cannons always suck. I don't care. All of them are always a little flimsy. <laughs> the mask though it is neat it's winning me over when i first saw it i wasn't it was too busy and i don't like the masks that are too busy if you look over here i just pulled some of these for reference the original predator mask still one of my all-time favorites i think they can still update this a little bit i think they should have updated this with uh, what they did here with the black and gold and it would have been awesome i'll show you what i mean in a second but then you have predator 2 and again, it's like a stone version of the other mask, but slightly modified as far as the look and the design. It's got a sharper uh, nose plate here, a little more defined, and it's angled differently. Same thing about the entirety of the mask, but it's got that similar look to it. If you glance at it, if you're not a huge fan of Predator, and you watch one and watch two, you probably don't even notice much of a difference. But something like this, this is from the video game, Concrete Jungle. This I like, but I don't like the, the absolute bottom here. It's too busy. It looks odd. It looks like there's a missing part. And I didn't like it in the game either. I love everything right down to right about there. And that is how I feel about the new mask. 
I'm a mix between, I love the simplicity, how it starts. It looks like the old uh, classic mask. And then some of the, the gray with the dark black uh, trimming, I do like that. I feel like some of this is a bit busy. If they would have combined what they have here, and again, this is not a knock at the figure itself, but it, just a knock at the design from the, the movie. I feel like if they would have just taken what they have here and added some of the classic to it, uh, especially this nose here with the two buttons in that middle piece, just make it solid one color with a, a gold frame around it, you know, gold trim. And I think that's going to be based on your personal preference. For me, that, that would work great. I think that would be a lot better. For some people out there, you probably love this mask. And again, that's all personal preference. But uh, yeah, I think this is an incredible figure. If the movie sucks, I don't care because I don't like AVP. But there's some truly awesome AVP predators. Like I think the one guy's name is Chopper. I mean, he's down there. He's actually right. Yeah, he's right there. And he looks freaking awesome. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter if the movie sucks. NECA still made a fantastic Predator. I don't understand how the blades are going to work in the movie, though. <laughs> so I can't wait to see some of this play out. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are of the uh, NECA Ultimate Fugitive Predator. I think it is a home run other than some... Some issues with the joints, which again, I'll never notice and I'll never use because I'm just going to put them up in a display on this base and he's going to go behind me in these videos uh, and that's it, <laughs> you know, so I don't really care, but give me your thoughts and opinions. What do you think about them? I give it a high recommend. All right. So thoughts and opinions down there. I said that seven times and I'll say it one more time.